Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, originally, this video started off as a, a tweet. Um, some of you who have been watching for a while may have noticed that in the last month, month and a half, uh, I've been rather absent on social media, um, and I haven't been in as many videos as normal. Um, so I want to, I wanted to kind of explain what was going on. Um, but then it wound up being a tweet that would have been like, you know, the tweet and then like 30 responses would have been, you know, like an essay. Um, so I scrapped that. And so then I made a video, uh, a scripted, just talking to you video. Um, and it just, it, it was bad. It was very bad. Uh, so then I tried an, like an unscripted where I had nothing planned, just, you know, shot from the hip. Uh, and that one was even worse. So, um, I think the best way to do this is going to kind of put me in my natural habitat, uh, which is cracking open, uh, packs. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we've got, uh, two core 19, uh, we got two war of the spark, and then we've got a mirrored and besieged and a Scars of Mirrodin pack. Uh, we're going to open all this, and it's all going to go into the Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Now, if you don't know what that is, uh, check out the link down in the description to our Patreon page. Uh, it'll explain what the Patreon Build-A-Pack box is uh, and how you can get everything that's opened. Um, so anyways, we're going to do that, and then I'm going to talk while we do that. I think that will relax me to help me get my message across. Um, and we get to open packs and that's always fun so um let's go ahead and start and we're gonna of course uh save the best for last so but you know honestly which one is best uh scars has got the opal um this has got blight steel colossus and while financially this is worth more i think i enjoyed this sadly so i don't know we'll just we'll do something anyways so okay so we got our core 19 packs here and i'm gonna go ahead and start talking um, so, as some of you may have noticed, um, like I said, I really haven't been that active here lately. Um, and we're going to talk about that today. <laughs> um, and this is something that is kind of out of my comfort zone. Uh, I'm normally, normally a rather uh, private person when it comes to the goings-on uh, in my life. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Um, something that I suffer from... Um, is amongst other things uh is i have very severe social anxiety uh, which kind of helps out uh severe depression um and then i also have um <laughs> aside from uh and this is something i had mentioned before uh talking uh when wedge had his incident uh in vegas um was that about a year year and a half ago um i was in an accident um god this 15 years ago now um with essentially the same thing that happened uh my l4 l5 vertebrae uh it, i broke um along with my ankle and part of my leg and there's nerve damage and a whole bunch that really altered my life um that also triggered a um an autoimmune that had been i guess you know with me my entire life but this uh, accident triggered it um, it's called angioedema and it's led to a lot of um, interesting twists in my life um, but so anyways fast forward um, over the years I've been on um, just an absurd amount of medications attempting to treat uh, this this ailment and my personal belief is that maybe some of this led to where I'm at right now, but anyways, um, so flash to right now, um, like I said, I do have severe social anxiety and depression, um, but these last couple of years, it's got increasingly worse, um, to the point where I have a hard time even going to F&M sometimes, um, which is completely out of my character i'm normally i've always been a rather social person but um the last five or six months it's been getting much worse 
Um, to the point where uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I uh, I attempted to uh, end my life. Um, now I, I I'm not I'm not saying this as like a look at me type thing. I, I'm I'm simply trying to explain to everyone where my mindset is and why these things have been going on. Um, so luckily I, I didn't. Um, my my wife intervened um but it, it 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 was kind of the place i can you know i've been slow rolling this we're gonna go ahead and just look at the rare desecrated tomb okay i apologize that took a long time to get that out um anyways um i am seeing so now i i do have uh help and a good support system now um but i have been dealing with this uh, for many years. Like I said, the last five or six months, it's, it's been the worst, but um, it's something I've kept inside and private from m pretty much everyone that knows me. Uh, the only people that honestly know about it uh, was my wife. So, um, so if you happen to have anxiety, you know that it can uh, honestly cripple you at times and that's that's kind of where it was getting um i was at the point where uh even talking to people online uh shot my anxiety just through the roof um and and i i'm working on coping me mechanisms for that but um so, so that's kind of why i've been absent here uh the last month or so is um I was essentially trying to process everything leading up to the incident uh, weeks ago, uh, and then the the incident itself. Um, what do we got? Oh no, one more. We got. Hey, Death Baron. That's not a bad one. Oh, we. Get, oh, I thought we got a foil. We did not get a foil. I apologize. Um, so yeah, that's that's essentially uh, what's been going on. It's why you guys haven't seen me a whole lot, and. I had to to make a decision um, if I wanted to continue doing the channel because I honestly I love it I, I love opening packs um, I love being part of the community um, but it was getting to the point where like I said just simply talking to even people that I know uh, I, just talking to them online uh, was becoming increasingly difficult um, so after talking with JJ which by the way I, I cannot thank JJ enough. Um, he has been just an absolute rock for me through all this. Um, and I honestly, I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, not only has he kind of, uh, propped the channel up, uh, in my absence, but he's also been, um, you know, talking with me. Um, it, it's, you know, essentially just being an ear. And, uh, and, and I truly appreciate that. Um, and I realize I am rambling and I'm, I'm doing my best to not, uh, do that. But anyways, um, yeah, that, that's essentially where I'm at. I just, the, I'm trying to find ways to, to make it through this. And, and unfortunately it seems that, uh, as time passes, it, it only gets worse. Um, it's something that I have decided I, I, I'm going to keep doing the channel up until a point where I feel that oh silent submarine sad face <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it. Wah, wah. um I'm going to keep doing this as long as I possibly can uh, to my patrons out there um, I will never simply uh, take y'all's money and then decide to quit um, I I just I, I won't I won't do that to you folks um, so uh, please keep that in mind uh, that I have no intention of leaving anyone high and dry uh, should things progress um, but I, I believe that I'm gonna take I'm just I'm gonna take it kind of week by week I'm still gonna do my I'm still gonna put out patreon videos um, if I've taken the money for it, then you can bet your bottom that, uh, I will be putting those videos out. Um, but I guess like I said, I'm just going to kind of take it, uh, uh, week by week. Um, 
and as I work through stuff, hopefully uh, my goal is to be able to do this without uh, any negative repercussions on my side. So, well, um, I honestly can't tell you how, how good it feels to... Good is not a, uh, the correct word. Um, I guess relieving would be a much better word um, to be able to tell you guys this stuff because I have kept this stuff private for so long hey parhelion too i mean not not great but this this thing can do interesting things um and i just completely lost my my train of thought uh which is why i had originally tried doing this uh with a script um anyways i guess uh what i'm what i'm trying to say because i just completely lost my train of thought is that uh you know what? we're gonna say scars last um I, I want you guys to know where i'm at because a lot of you have um a decent amount invested into this channel be it time uh or, or as a patron or, or you know whatever um i i felt i i at least owed it uh to to a lot of you people and the, the explanation that is and then uh, as for me, um, and after, uh, talking with my, my therapist, um, we believe this would actually be a really good thing to, for me to be able to get this out, uh, in a form that I'm comfortable with, because while you all are listening to this, um, I, I'm not physically talking to anyone, so I, it makes it a lot easier on me. So I guess it's a benefit of a little bonus that I have, I guess. Uh, ooh, Iker Wellspring. Rotwolf, love that guy. So, um, I, I will say, just in case anyone was wondering, I, I'm doing much better now. Um, I, uh, like I said, it's, uh, things are being changed medication-wise. Um, you know, and honestly, I, I'll say that was another reason why I really never, uh, talked about it a whole lot, is because of the stigma that comes with, uh, having to be on, those types of medications which i've been on for for quite some time but anyways those are being tweaked i am talking to people so it's i mean we uh, uh i'm in a better better place right now um what tomorrow will bring i honestly don't know but leave this stampede that was a fun card and did we oh no we got one more derp oh man i got so excited but uh oh 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 psychosis crawler <sighs> Thought it'd be blight steel, but still, you know what? Psychosis crawler. I honestly don't know what's. I, now I'm thinking. I don't really think it's worth a whole lot because I think this had some kind of promo, and that may have did it. So, anywho, um, now we get on to the scars of Mirrodin pack. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that, that's basically where I'm at, and I have really turned this into a ramble fest, and, and I apologize for that. Um, but I <laughs> trust me, this is way better. Uh, than the previous two videos I did uh, trying to, you know, do all this. Ooh, we didn't put Psychosis Crawler. There we go. Uh, okay, so... Anyways, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I do appreciate all the support of the people uh, who've kind of reached out to me. And uh, when I did make some posts about essentially needing time, everyone's like, you know, we're cool with it. Um... And honestly, we didn't drop nearly as many subs as I thought we would. We had hit 700, and then we dropped, we started dropping, and I'm like, all right, here it goes. We're going to go back down to like, you know, 650 or something, but we didn't. We, lo we only lost about uh, 10 or 15 subscribers, so uh, I do appreciate that. Belated Pinions. I always love the artwork on that card. But, so yeah, that's uh, that's what's been going on. Uh, in my world so uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up this last pack we got clone shell we got skin render that's actually not a bad card uh, we got oh tangle angler and then our rare is is it come on can we oh no it's not it's tempered steel that um, you know I honestly I don't remember what that well luckily I've got my uh, my cheat sheet up here um, Okay, it's just over a buck. Um, so, nothing great uh, on these packs. I, I honestly think 
Um, our best hit was Death Baron. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I, I think it's still seen some play. So we did get that going for us, and then we got lots of uh, lots of good stuff to throw into the into the common slots. Um, oh wow! Okay, so that was uh, that was an interesting video. Um, for those of you who stuck around for all of it to listen, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I appreciate and hope I have uh, your understanding uh, about this. Um, anyone in the content creation world can tell you that uh, we sure as heck do not do this for the money. Um, this is something I, I, I love to do. And I, I want to make it so I can continue having that same passion. Um, and, and part of me reaching that point is kind of reaching a healthy mental point. So, anyways, that's what's uh, what's going on. Um, I do want to wrap up by saying a couple things. Uh, first off, we are going to get back to Patreon, uh, our Patreon members, uh, next week. We're going we're gonna to do videos. We're going to get you all done this month. Um, we do have a new Patreon, uh, or patron, uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, we're also, starting next week, um, we're going to start doing uh, the random giveaways again, the, the packs every week. Um, so keep an eye out uh, for that. And then uh, I'm going to do my best to get back into uh, doing some deck techs here soon. Um, I've got the new computer, I've got the software to do it, uh, it's just a matter of uh, getting myself uh, to that point. And then I would like to close um, with one last thing. Um, should any of you out there um, have uh, bad thoughts, simply if you have, need someone to talk to, um, you know, my, my lines are always open. Feel free to message me, uh, Facebook call me, whatever. Um, I, I'm an excellent listener. I'm really good at shutting up and just listening. Um, so if you need that, feel free. Just get a hold of me. Um, I may not know exactly what you're going through, but um, I might have a ballpark idea. So um, anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor, click the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you can tell we come out with new stuff, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.